Let's get right into this situation with Dr. Ronnie Jackson. He is the former White House physician for President Trump. Doctor, the New York Times is reporting that the president does have symptoms. What do you know of this, doctor? Hey, you know, I don't know how accurate that is. I, uh, I talked to someone earlier today, and I was told that the president didn't have symptoms. He was symptom-free. Uh, and uh, that, that's what I'm going off of right now. So I have not heard that. And I did recently talk to someone at the White House uh, this morning. So I don't know how accurate that is. And, and uh, I don't know what those symptoms would be. I hadn't seen the article. Okay. Uh, his return to full work would depend upon the severity of his illness and how severe it takes him. What do you know of that? How, I, I'm not asking you to speculate. I'm yeah. asking you to suggest what might be his date of return. Well, you know, the, the way I understand it, like I said, is he's asymptomatic right now. I think that he's in a really good position right now being asymptomatic because the vast majority of the people in his group being 74 years old and not having a, any other comorbidities such as pulmonary disease or heart disease or diabetes or anything like that, 95.5% uh, or 99.5% or more of people in that category will go on to recover from this spontaneously. Most of them will, uh, will, will not have symptoms at all. The ones that do will have minor symptoms uh, that they quickly get over. So I think the, pre the president's prognosis is very good right now. And I, and I, and I hope that, the, that that's, the, that's, the, that's uh, what we see here is that he continues to be asymptomatic. Now, people are talking about him being quarantined for a period of time, and most people are talking about 10 days or 14 days. Uh, I think that's going to be an inaccurate as well because those quarantine periods were really put together for people that uh, were exposed to somebody but tested negative and they were quarantined to see if they developed the, if they developed a positive test or if they got any symptoms. The president already has a positive test. So he'll continue to get tested aggressively every single day and when he gets to a point where he's had two negative tests that are 24 hours apart he can conceivably go back to his normal routine, and that could be less than 10 days. The incubation period before a positive test is said to be five to seven days. Now, bearing that in mind, you look back over the present schedule over the past week, and he's attended rallies, he's had Rose Garden in, in Washington, D.C., he's had Rose Garden news conferences, a news conference in New Jersey. He's come into contact with a very large number of people, including very senior officials in the government. In other words, the contact list is huge. I take it that they're going through that contact list and testing just about everybody who's come anywhere near him. That's going to take quite a lot of time, isn't it? Yeah, it will take some time, and, and, and they're going to be aggressive about that. The one thing they've got going for him is most of those people that were in close contact with him, even when he was out uh, at the rally sites, those people were tested before they had contact with him. So most of those people they're going to know had a negative test when they were in contact with him. But they'll go through, they'll try to uh, re-engage with all those people, find out if anybody developed symptoms after the fact, and, and try to figure out where he was exposed. There's a good chance they won't figure out exactly when it happened, whether it was related to Hope Hicks, uh, you know, in the last few days, or if it was prior to that. Because like you said, the incubation period can be anywhere from two days, actually, all the way up to 14 days conceivably. And I think the average is around five days. But uh, they'll, they'll do their best to figure out where that exposure took place. Treatment. The president had taken hydro hydrochlor hydroxychloroquine. Mm. He had taken that, I believe, some months ago. And another treatment which is possible here is remdesivir. What mm. treatment do you suggest would be appropriate and given to the president as of now? Well, assuming that he's still asymptomatic, which is like I told you what I, my understanding is, uh, I would say that, you know, it, it's reasonable that they might give him hydroxychloroquine again because he had that previously. He was uh, treated with that prophylactically from an exposure before. So we can be pretty confident that he's not going to have any really negative side effects from that. He's already had that medication for a while. So they would give him a treatment dose of hydroxychloroquine. They could do that. They could also give him uh, vitamin D, they could give him zinc, and those are uh, fairly harmless drugs that could have some benefit. They may use uh, azithromycin, z -pack, and they may also use inhaled or nebulized steroids. Those are all pretty harmless, uh, but potentially uh, beneficial drugs. With regards to the remdesivir, I don't think that they'll go down that path unless he develops symptoms. I think if he does develop symptoms, they'll be quick to pull that trigger. But that's an IV medication that has a potential to have more side effects than the other ones. And I think they'll hold off on that until they feel like they need it. And if he does develop symptoms, that would probably be a cue to go ahead and start that. Dr. Ronnie Jackson, thank you very much for being with us this morning. It's appreciated, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.